So this is something I just needed to get out of my system. No real academic analysis, something I just needed to create because, well, it just sort of captured the feelings I am feeling now. In my class, the Fantastic East Asia, Ghosts, Foxes, and the Alien, we did a very quick one over on J-Horror. Since it fit very nicely within the tradition we had been studying up until that point. Specifically, we talked about the works of Junji Ito in the 1998 film adaptation of his story Tomie by director Ataru Okikawa. The original manga is something I had never encountered beforehand, I'm currently reading through the collection right now, and I was passively familiar with Ito's work having read one of his short stories. That being said, the film has gotten stuck in my head. I can't stop thinking about it, and I also can't bring myself to watch it again. It's hard to describe what the film is like for me at this moment. I had to watch it with many different breaks over the course of about four hours, despite it only being a 90 minute film. It just started to crawl into my head and I just wanted to escape from it. Scenes that would appear to contain little substance would sometimes have an aspect of it that I would just find incredibly unsettling. As that the more I stared at the image that was being presented to me, the more I started to feel a sense of unease, the more horrified I would become. The thing about the film, and the character Tom Tomihe, is that she isn't explained. Even when the film gave us an answer, I was left with so many more questions. I wanted to know if there was anything that could be done. How can she be stopped? How can I rationalize my way around her? The answers I got back were, you can't. She's a demon, but she can't be exercised. You can kill her, but she will just come back. You can chop her into pieces, but she will grow herself out of them. She is a disease. 
A disease you can talk to. A disease that can manipulate you. A disease that has feelings. A disease that kills itself by using others. And I think that's the aspect that has me most terrified. With the pandemic, with the news of new deaths every day, the sense that I can't do anything besides hold myself up in my room is what is frightening to me. Is this thing that I have some knowledge of, but that knowledge is unhelpful. There is no cure. There is no treatment. There isn't even the solace of attempting to reason with it. I am just waiting and watching like a voyeur. I am scared so I cover my eyes, but I am curious so I peek through the cracks.